on Instagram. She met him on Instagram? So she told me that off. I asked her what was wrong. And then what she told me, and I can screenshot it and send it to you on Instagram. She said her question was about what she asked you, why she got blocked. And then she said everyone start laughing at her. No. She was never blocked. I know. I was in the live. I heard you say it. So. No, she was never blocked. Well, I'm just playing email. She asked me when you got off, and then I I am it to you. I thought she, you saw it. No one laughed. No one did. Well, laugh. I can I can send that to you. That's what she said. And then when you recently got off, she's like, "Can you go back in?" When she comes back, when she comes back one, can you tell? And I said I did because I thought you saw it. And then she's like, "Well, can you get in the box?" I said I will try. Hey. <clears throat> Can we talk for a sec? Yeah. Okay. Since there's not a lot of people in here that were before, I feel like I can talk to you and, and be more comfortable because these guys are in there I trust that are in here. Um, the reason I live in my basement and I have a full kitchen and a bathroom and I sleep on an air mattress is because I am a severe domestic and violence abuse survivor to an alcoholic who used to beat me on the daily. And in front of my children, he put a gun to my forehead and told me today was the day that I wasn't going to live anymore. So when I tell you that I'm married on paper, I'm married on paper. That doesn't mean I want to, well, I mean, if you really wanted to put the necktie and tie me up with it, I might be okay with it, but here or there, um, that's why, um, I feel comfortable coming in here at night and telling you guys, because earlier, um, the chat was very brutal to me and it triggered something and that's why I cried and I left. Um, I love you. I will help you. I will help you in whatever way I can. You understand me? Yeah. I will do what it takes. I will call every number I can find. I just need you to message me and let me know around about what area you're in. And I will find whatever resources that you need. Thank you. I you understand me? Because I truly honestly care about you. And it's not because I'm an old bitch. <laughs> you, are, you are one strong individual woman. And I want you to know that you're very strong. And I'm very sorry that what you had to go through. You don't deserve it. And that's something that breaks my heart for you. But uh, I want you to know that I'm here for you and I love you. And I want you to continue to stay strong. And don't let anybody tear you down. You hear me? Yeah. And you know, when people tell each other that they love each other, sometimes it's superficial. I mean it. Danny, I will do what it takes to help you. I love you, Kelly. I really do. Okay. And and I didn't want to tell everybody in the chat earlier because they're, 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 I, got, I got hated on pretty bad. Um, but so you know why, why I'm where I'm at. Um, so what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to start up my business again so I can make my own money. And I can... I do sublimation, so I do t-shirts, I do uh, cups, I do hats, I do all kinds of stuff. What? Yeah, and I think I'm going to have you come out here this summer and put you to work and make you do tie-dye. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say I'm, I'm so sorry that you went through that. I kind of been through that myself. So if you ever need me, if you want, you can follow me. If you ever need me, just let me know, and I'm here for you. I Absolutely. got out after 10 years. Okay, I'm after 10 years, I got out of that. Oh. See, here's the thing is, is that I'm controlled by money. I don't have any access to bank accounts. I don't have a dime to my name. And he controls all of that. So it's my turn to protect my babies. It's my turn to protect myself. 
and it's time to step up to the plate and earn my own money. Oh my God. You know what? Help you, you help me. Teamwork, baby, makes the dream work. I'm telling you what, you're gonna be tie dying like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Kelly. Kelly, what a dork. Huh? Work. But on, on a real note, I do love you, and I am here for you if you ever need a friend. Thank you. I appreciate you. More than you know. <clears throat> I've watched you grow, I don't know, for the past six months, and you've grown on me so much that you know like i've got this girl crush um if, if it makes any difference i did pull a lesbian once that was 16 years younger than i was that was some good shit. i'm telling you Gally. <laughs> ellie <laughs> you know you love me and you know i'm just Gally. joking around with you okay Nobody else needs to know that, though. They can all think I'm a, this big old, um, crazy old lady who's trying. <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, if you felt the need to bring the necktie with you, um, that's good. Like, you can use it any way you can. I will, I will make sure something you can tie that shit to, because it won't tie to the air mattress. <laughs> Um, I can't tie you up on a tree with some tie dye. <laughs> Listen, just so you guys all know, here we go, here we go. Everybody's like, damn, Kelly, relax. I this is how this is my humor. And this is how I get through my day. And if it's at the expense of um Danny and all her hotness and the way she fucking eats shit, then that's just the way that <laughs> what she needs right here. Callie's <laughs> that is what look at this. She's got handcuffs. Tasteful. I will send you my address. I'm gonna need them things. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna I gotta I gotta I gotta figure out how to bolt this air mattress down so that it doesn't get messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Dude, you guys know you love me, and okay. that's that's my big that's my big um um. I don't know if it's a downfall. Is I use humor. I use humor to make light of my situation, and um, unfortunately, it's at Danny's expense. Um, Kelly, if you were rope. Dude, I'm gonna make her tie-dye rope. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, hi Danny, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. So I have some phone numbers. I'm gonna text you them. There's an in 24 hours, and there's a phone number for that. Uh-huh. I just got off the phone with AA.org phone number um support line. Um I website where you don't even have to leave your house you hop on your ipad and they have groups for free that you, you have to just download zoom and they give you the code on here they have it every day there's a 24 hour one there's a mm -hmm. wednesday 24 one, thursday 24 hour one friday you can hop on right now to the zoom call and there's someone in there if not multiple people that you can speak to right now that are in your same situation going to same thing. I'm gonna do that, Serena. You're effing amazing. I freaking love the shit out of you, Serena. Uh, you're awesome. I'm gonna have to do this when I'm in in the correct mindset. Wink, yeah, wink. Of course. So definitely not gonna do it right now. Mm -hmm. not in the right mindset. Do we come? Um, um, I, I told Jenny, them that you <laughs> were on TikTok live. Yeah. What, Danny? I told them that you were on TikTok live, and they said that's actually really good. Because you have people that are watching you and can hold you accountable until you can go to an AA meeting. When you wake up in the morning, that's the first thing you can do. Log on. It's 24 hours tomorrow. 
You can hop on it anytime. And I'm going to send you all this information right now so you have it in your hands. And if you want to, I'll even hop in with you. And I'll be there in the meeting with you if you would like to make you feel like you have a little bit of support in there and not just strangers. Yeah. Hell yeah. We can all hop in. There could be like 20 of us in there. Yeah. Dude, I'm freaking, I'm bringing snacks. <laughs> not gummies. No gummies. <laughs> okay. Um, if you check out my TikTok, Danny, the first TikTok that's pinned also has a 1-800 number that's available 24 hours a day also. All right. I don't know if it's good as Serena's, though. Serena's got people who are actually live people. I don't know. I've never called it, so I don't know. So, the guy, Serena, told you it's good that I'm, that I'm on live right now, having people watch me. Oh. Angel, yeah, I, I, I don't know how I get blessed to finding certain things. I'm being so, so serious right now. Like, I said a prayer when I found out what happened with Danny, and I, especially like after tonight with everything coming out, and it just, I went online and I just did some searching and I called some numbers and this guy picked up and he goes, "Listen, this is what I'm here for. What do you need?" And he gave me, I got her zip code. He gave me the phone number to the ones that she can go to in person. He gave me a 24 hour phone number right now. And then he hooked me up on the website where there's every single day, 24 hour zoom calls. And I just have to say that when he said, I, he goes, well, where is she now? I said, well, she's on TikTok live. Um, I'm making the phone calls and then I'm going to hop in there and give her this information. He said her being on TikTok live is an accountable thing where people can see what she's doing and hold her accountable until she can get into an AA meeting in the morning. Do I think she should go right now on gummies? Mm. No, because I need her to take it seriously. And right now she's goofy because of the gummies, you know. So tomorrow morning, Danny, you call me whatever time it is. Me and Emmett will hop in. If you want someone else to know, I can give you the code and you can tell certain people. Um, I don't think you should blast it on TikTok Live because you'll get haters in there. Mm -hmm. Um but I think if there are certain people that you want in there, we can personally send them the Zoom code, set up a time, and we all can hop in and be there for you. Because I know that I'm in recovery for pills, and it will be eight years, February 1st. And I would go in there, and it wouldn't, it would, it always would just make things better, you know? Wait a second. So, like, I go in, I talk about my feelings, and I talk about why I want to drink. Oh, yeah, can I get bullied on TikTok? Dove. Serena, I got a question for you. One second, Kelly. One second, love. Okay. Not just um, TikTok, Danny. No, I, your family. Talk about your family stuff. Talk about what just happened I'm, at Christmas. I'm really bad. I'm really bad at at like at, 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 I just can't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I get really like when I talk about my problems. Like oh, when your camera doesn't have to be on. Oh, yeah, just because it's Zoom. No, just because it's Zoom. Hi, handsome. Just because it's Zoom doesn't mean that you have to be on camera, love. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Kelly, real quick, what was your question, sweetheart? My question is, is, is this a kind of meeting that you can go to if you're dealing with um, recovering alcoholics? Any, any kind of NA and AA. NANAA. So any type of addiction, they're there. They, he even said porn addiction shopping addiction um like any kind of addiction he said even cigarette smoking you just need some help for somebody to talk to you he said anytime anything he also said that there's people that call in there when they feel like unaliving themselves and they support that too they just it's just a big support group and there's someone there's a meeting held and there's someone in the meeting awake 24 7 so if it's just you and one person at 3 a.m I might even just hop on and see who's on right now for you and just kind of see how it is if you want me to, Danny. Hey, dude, she's the queen of finding things. That's all I got to say. Yeah, From fashion you, she to finding things, she's... Woman. Like... Hey, Serena, <clears throat> today would mark 10 days where I have been free of abusing um, prescription medication to drown out all the crap I got to deal with. 10 days. Wow, Kelly. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Kelly. Yeah, congrats. You went through hell week. That's what that's what I call hell week. You went through hell week and it's not easy and I'm really proud of you. And don't let anyone tell you any different. All of you in here, any of you, including Danny, you know, 
yeah, you made a mistake, okay? You know how many people who are in recovery have made a mistake? Mm -hmm. And we bounce back from it, baby. So we bounce many. back from it. And you're going to be so much stronger because you realized it. You didn't keep going. You stopped. Mm -hmm. And you realized. And that is important because you could have kept going, Danny. You could have kept going and going and going, but you didn't. And I just, I'm proud of you for owning up to it. That's, that's huge, babe. That's huge. Really? And it's not easy yeah. to sit here, Kelly, you too. It's not easy to sit here and say, oh, I was addicted to this or I did this because you're going to be judged, but let people judge you because only God can judge you, Danny, only God. And he knows your heart is real and he knows that you're trying and that's all he needs from you. Amen. Kelly, same to you and anyone else in here. I'm going to hop on this Zoom. I'm going to go mute. I'm going to okay. hop on this Zoom real quick, and I'm going to tell you how it is. I was going to say, it looks like Becca said she's three years, and uh, Kay said she's five years. So congratulations to everybody on their recovery and their journey. It's not easy, but congratulations to everybody. Kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome, homie. Tiny Cassidy, 13 months. Congratulations. That's like my wife was saying. You could be one day. You could be five days. You could be 13 months. You could be five years. It's it's hard, but it's amazing because you're pushing through it. I love it. So when you said no one was laughing at her, she sent me a message. Um, I got in my notification because I was on your live the whole time. She said she thought everybody was laughing at her. Who? Um, so, Thea. One of Danny's sisters, she came in and wanted to ask Danny a question. And when Danny got off, she, I, I, like, I'm trying to, I'm, I try to help her. So she messaged me on TikTok. Because I went, when she went in, went and messaged her, I said, what's wrong? And she goes, can I tell you? I said, yes. She's like, well, I wanted to ask Danny about the blocking. Everybody start laughing at me. And I'm like, well, you need to go tell Danny. Like, this is something that Danny needs to know. Yeah. Thank and you. then, then she was like, "Can you tell her that I messaged her on Instagram?" And then when Danny got off again, she's like, uh, "She's like, can you tell us that I did?" She goes, "Can you get in her box and tell us?" And when Danny came back on, I was like, "Danny, just to let you know, Sophia messaged you on Instagram and said that everybody laughed at her." And she's like, "Danny in the chat was like, nobody laughed." So I was in the live with Danny. She was like, sorry, I thought they were laughing at me. I don't, I was gonna say, I don't think. I so I just wanted to let Danny know what she was saying, why your wife and Kelly was talking. Because I'm here to support anybody that needs support. I'm here to help anybody that I can help any shape or form. Definitely. Very nice of you. And I stick okay. up, I stick up for Kelly today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did. I stick up for Danny when it's needed. No one laughed, so that's the problem. No one I laughed. Said, I, don't, I don't think nobody laughed. I think maybe she was talking in like a in a wrong caught caught the wrong conversation. Maybe people were kind of laughing at something else, and then she kind of thought maybe they were laughing at that, which wasn't the case. But I appreciate you telling. Like that's that's something Danny will handle for sure. Yeah. Now. Can I talk to you in private, not on here? And she wanted to know, did you did you block her or messenger? I said, I don't know. You need to ask Danny. Nope. I would look at you. No way. I would. I would. I would never do that, Sophia. I would never do that to you. Like that's something that I would never do, sweetheart. Like even Kay said it. I never blocked her. Never blocked her. I don't want to make to tell you. Okay. Let's just go back to being po uh, positive vibes because this is now turning into. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Stop. No. Yeah, we need to I'm stop. Yeah. Yeah, positive vibes. Positive vibes. All right. I'm stoned to the moon. Bro, Rawr. I just, I just <laughs> ate one of my candies, bro. 
<laughs> right. You want to do your drawing when you draw? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got one. <laughs> I got one. Do you want to do the drawing, Danny, where we have to guess what you're drawing? Yes! That's a good one. Ooh, this is gonna be so oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> All right. You guys are going to completely fail. Bye. Oh, my. So am I. I'm oh, like, no. is it this? And Danny's like, no. I'm like, is it this? She's like, no. I'm pretty good at Pictionary, so I don't know. Emmett's going to take the W. We're going to lose. You. <laughs> Go! You, you, sir.